people in this world who literally love having notifications to have big notifications and don't answer or don't respond to any of text messages nothing like that just because they like the fact that oh yeah i got mad notifications who do you think you are like uh-uh love yours Hey everybody, it is Rizma V or Charisma and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what's on my iPhone video. I haven't done one of these in so long and when I say one of these, I do mean a sit down video. I actually did do a what's on my iPhone video probably a year ago. I have the iPhone 13, iOS version 17.5.1. I have 29 songs downloaded, 814 videos, 6,686 photos and 74 applications in total. This is my case guys. My case has been messed up for so long. I got it off the sheen. This is my phone. I have a glass screen protector on it. You guys can kind of see yourselves in there. But I have a glass screen protector on it and I need to get another one. I haven't done one of these in so long so please just give me some grace. Let's literally jump into this video because I have a lot of apps. I'm excited to start honestly. I'm gonna move over this way so that you guys can see the screen. Okay so the first thing I'm gonna let y'all see is all my wallpapers. I have not checked any of my wallpapers to be quite honest but yeah. For the first one we have my slump um photo i went to a slump concert not too long ago and if you guys also know on my other what's on my iphone video i started my intro with one of his songs he's like one of my favorite artists literally and i went to his concert not like two weeks ago he was in brooklyn loved it Ooh, all right this is giving fangirl this is giving fangirl but trust me trust me trust me trust me it's not like that it's not like that another picture of slump. <laughs> here just let's move on uh this is a picture of me i actually like this one i like the black and white aesthetic it's with my camera this is my dream board i actually have this dream board on my laptop and it's so pretty and it's it's pretty big honestly but it got most of the stuff that i got in, i liked in the middle um if you guys want a tutorial on how to make that i'll definitely do it Here's me. This is me on my birthday with my birthday photo shoot. It was it was really nice. I took a picture. I took pictures, so I was like, you know, I'm putting it on my wallpaper because I'm that conceited. So, as you can see, I got a couple notifications, but hear me out. I don't like notifications as much as the next person. I know the I know there's people in this world who literally love having notifications to have big notifications and don't answer or don't respond to any of text messages nothing like that just because they like the fact that oh yeah i got mad notifications who do you think you are like uh-uh so let's get to the basic well let's get to the obvious part that red big widget that you see in the corner of my phone is my subscriber account um it's called sub count i love that when i look at it i literally have a widget now so i can open my phone see how many subscribers i get now let's first go into this first one next to it we got utilities i do have an apple watch i'm thinking of selling it because to be quite honest i do not use it anymore i don't use it when i go to the gym i don't use it in general the reason why i don't use it is because i honestly don't have no reason to be using it anymore it's the reason that why the fitness app in the watch app is still on my phone is because honestly it's just there i have no use for it because every time i go to the gym it's i sweat it gets hot the band gets annoying i don't know if i need a new band but it's honestly just it's not it for me it's not for me now for this pink heart right here these are all the socials and well this is like a combination of socials and things that i usually just tune into so for TikTok, I have notifications there. Um, if you know me, this is my TikTok. I have two TikTok accounts. One is now private. That used to be like my public YouTube um, channel promotion kind of thing. But I don't post on it anymore. I made it private, refixing my whole profile on that one. And then there's another one where I do vlogs. I haven't uploaded TikToks in so long. I have not uploaded a video on TikTok or YouTube 
in general so <laughs> just give me grace i'm definitely gonna upload there soon next is instagram i do not have many posts on instagram i only really take pictures on my birthday and post them and then you ain't seeing me for the whole another year which by the way my birthday is december 25th if you guys ever wanted to like you know no but here's my instagram um this is my this is my instagram profile my highlights and everything like that are here um i also have my youtube link down in my bio so check me out check me out I only I don't have that many subscribe I don't have that many followers or anything like that but hey we gonna get there we gonna get there uh, next is snapchat the only reason why I have snapchat still is because I have so many memories of when I was in high school and in middle school so I just keep them for like safe sake Pinterest now y'all y'all not y'all not tuned in with me on Pinterest because I have I have a lot of monthly views now and I have more followers than I've had last year so um if you want to follow me on that you can but it's mainly stuff that I created I like little back behind the scenes of like my videos I do photo shoots um mini vlogs um I also have stuff that's a link on like if you click on a pin, it's also linked to another video or to my Instagram or to a completely different app with Linkfly, which you're going to see also in this video. Twitch. Um, I used to actually stream on Twitch, but ever since I got a PS5, I don't anymore. Uh, I haven't streamed in a long time on Twitch, but I also watch, like, I don't really watch streams no more, but I definitely, like, can tune in if I wanted to, but I don't really tune in anymore the only people I follow is uh, friends and people like Kai Sinat, Phantom and Agent literally those three I'm pretty sure just those three discord um, is the purple app right next to it this well it's kind of purple whatever discord is basically an app where you go to connect with friends and gaming people who want to play the game with you and stuff like that or you can even like start up a chat with them or start up a lobby with them but you have to get into those servers which I'm in like some random Among Us server from my friend <laughs> I play on my PlayStation I'll tell you guys all the games that I play once we get to that app Blink Fitness I have a Blink Fitness membership I used to have Plant Planet Fitness but now I don't sadly Blink actually really like I actually do enjoy Blink more than Planet Fitness. I thought I wouldn't have, but I actually genuinely do. Webtoons. I actually just got put onto Webtoons, which is crazy. But Webtoons is where you read and like click through different, um, I want to say manga. So I'm going to say manga. Um, but it's literally different cartoon um, stories that you can go through called Webtoons. It's really good. Um, right now, Right now on webtoons, what am I reading? Oh, my mafia, the the mafia nanny is is good. I like it. Honestly, it was my first ever one, and it's my only webtoon that I've been reading, and it's actually good. I'm just waiting for all of the chapters to like kind of build up so I have more of a like read. Um, how about? So how about is an app where you can connect with friends and plan things and make a scheduled calendar. I only have it with I have how about with one friend only and we literally um put each other's calendar on there just to see like hey what well, we're doing this way I'm gonna be traveling this time I'm gonna be working this time so we could kind of co like put in like have in cahoots what we're gonna be doing so that we could possibly hang out one of these days. So W Y A or where you at <laughs> is what I have it as. I have all of these apps for like travel and stuff like that. So travel and area, honestly. So first we have the weather app, which I am in Brooklyn, New York. I have over, I believe five locations in my weather app. Um, some because, mainly all is because of like family reasons. So if there's like ever like a hurricane or freaking what, um, the air quality is bad. 
I can like check on them like, yo, you good? Apple Maps, I do not use Apple Maps whatsoever. I don't use Apple Maps because it's so, it's so irritating. You point this way and it's telling you to go that way, but you go that way and then it's telling you to go. I hate Apple Maps. Apple Maps will never catch me. Google Maps, yes, I use Google Maps. Um, Uber, once again, Uber, I really do appreciate you. Nah, but Uber, it gets you from two, from point A to point B within just a few clicks and a little bit of money. I walk way more than I use Uber, but because it's summertime and because it's like, it's been really, really hot, Uber has just been my, we've been, we've been my main squeeze right there. Transit app. I recommend transit app to any New Yorker, any, anybody from Brooklyn, anyone from Queens, anyone from Manhattan, because the transit app has saved me so much time and effort running for the but running for these buses running for these trains literally oh not mcdonald's anyway we're gonna get to that basically showing all the trains and buses that's around you and it actually gives you an accurate time of when it's going to be coming and where it's at uh regal listen there's so many freaking movies nowadays that's coming out literally now playing i plan on going to regal which is like like one of my station movie theaters i love regal i plan on going to regal with my 7,702 credits okay <laughs> um but yeah i plan on going to regal i love going to regal um they have like five dollar fridays i'll be getting discounts and stuff like that from them they're really fun city bike i never used a day in my life but i just know that it's there and if i ever wanted to ride a bike i will <laughs> Uh, photos and videos okay so you guys already know the red the big red app that's in the corner that widget right there is also the sub count um, app I recommend it for any youtuber also YouTube studios this is also this is a lot like this whole photo and app situation is basically all YouTube videos and channel analytics um, YouTube Studios is where you go to see your analytics, your, st your statistics on certain videos, your overall channel, recommended videos that you should try, and basically all of your, like, all of, like, what you've created and the outcome. Camera Connect is for this camera. I have a, a, e, a Canon EOS M50. It actually is able to connect to my phone and Bluetooth and like literally send all footage, video, everything onto my phone. And I love that feature. So I get that from Camera Connect and YouTube, obviously. I'm, I'm subscribed to a lot of people. Um, <laughs> I haven't been watching YouTube anymore, but I'm still one of the girlies. I'm room for everybody from my school, my, my old high school who started YouTube, from my old middle school who started YouTube. I'm room for everybody on YouTube. Um, YouTube Tracker, it's another kind of thing for YouTube studios, but it's more of like hitting set goals. Uh, Linktree, it used to be like, well, you guys know Linktree. It's where you basically put all of your copy and paste um socials business um websites anything like that you want uh it's basically making it a clickable link for anyone to discover any of those links and link fly is what i use kind of as my link tree um i don't use link tree anymore i use link fly uh just to like add any my instagram my youtube channel my TikTok, my Snapchat, my Twitter, whatever you want to get me on, it'll be in my link fly. And it's also, my link fly is actually linked on my Pinterest board. So yeah, if you wanted to literally go see that from anywhere, you can. Um, PDF, that was a school thing, honestly. I don't even know why I have it here. Um, Rila. So Rila is basically a app where you can schedule posts like from Instagram to 
to TikTok, schedule posts, you can schedule videos, uh, shorts that you like to, and reels that you'd like to t um, put out into the world at a scheduled time um, with descriptions, captions, and everything like that. But I use it to schedule out my content. So uploading day, um, uploading day, filming day, stuff like that. Um, keynotes, all of these things I don't actually use. The journal, free form, keynote, don't know what it's for, do not use it. Okay, now let's go all the way to the left, <laughs> the little camera box. So first one, we have camera, obviously that's where you take cameras, videos, all that. Google Photos is where I have a lot of backup um, footage and photos, um, mainly from when I was like from 20, like, 19 probably from like from years i've had iMovie is where i would go about editing stuff from my phone at first before i started like getting more into CapCut. um and CapCut is actually one of the apps that's on here all the way at the bottom it's where i upload a lot of my vlog content after editing um when it comes to tiktok so i post shorts and shorts reels uh, TikToks, all I like, I make it all on CapCut. Uh, Canva is where I use all for my thumbnails and for photos. Obviously, that's my photo gallery. Y'all need to see that. Oh, Airbrush used to be an app where I like kind of like felt like felt the need to edit a photo, but like it basically smooths and adds filters, it makes things bigger, it makes things smaller, all of that. Next is my little red siren. <laughs> That's basically where I'm getting most of my notifications from. It's FaceTime, my contacts, and I, um, iMessages. Um, yeah. And iMessages. Utilities, we don't really need to know much about that. Um, the Z's, it's mainly like the little Z icon. Like, I don't really use it, but it, I know it's there, so I just like... But I need to keep it there just in case, you know? Uh, you got mail. This is where I basically, where I get notified of emails, gmails, freaking plan out to-do lists, uh, plan out content at times with my notions and my notes apps. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, count your days. Okay, count your days. Count your, <laughs> I don't know why I named some of these this, but anyway, count your days is basically time, okay? With my clock, I got my timers for when I have to wake up, when I have to go to sleep, when I have to go edit that video, when I have to go wake up for the day, whenever, whenever, literally whenever. I have my calendar up here, because you know, time, and my flow app, obviously, my menstrual cycle. It could be used for different purposes, but I use it only for my menstrual cycle. Um, my little gaming slash watching app. So I have my PlayStation app, Netflix, Crunchyroll, and Max. So when my PlayStation app, this is where I like literally like add friends on here, or if I have to jump into a party and be like, "What you said," I can do it on my phone instead of being at home on my PlayStation. <laughs> because they, 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 yeah. Yeah, I be having to do that sometimes, but anyway. I play COD, I play Among Us, I play Apex, I play anything I want, Fall Guys. I play, I play a lot of games. You can also add my PSN. It's all, I think my PSN is actually in my description in my YouTube. So if you want to play with me, just add me on there and be like, hey, I have, I'm a subscriber and I'll play with you. And Roblox has actually been a thing. I have not played any Roblox games at all since it got cool like i haven't so let me know uh netflix i have crunchyroll i have max i have okay like those are all of my watching rotations as of right as of lately i have not watched no youtube i haven't watched no hulu i've been watching netflix what i've been watching on netflix i completely forgot what i'm watching on netflix i'm think i'm i'm thinking about catching up on Grey's anatomy on netflix for Crunchyroll, I've been watching Jujutsu Kaisen. Please do not spoil anything for me. Please do not spoil anything for me. And on Max, I've been watching Pretty Little Liars. Pretty Little Liars. 100% recommend. 100%? Well, not 100%. Just if you if you know, you know, okay? Now, these are all my money apps, okay? I don't even feel like getting into depth with this. But, um... 
just know it's there okay thank you uh for school uh, we have blackboard i go to a cuny <sighs> whatsapp is like if you know you know okay just just i'm gonna leave it at that i'm gonna leave it at that uh duolingo i've been practicing haitian quayole on duolingo my friend is actually very very much ahead of me so i need to catch up i need to catch up immediately uh quizlet i love quizlet for flashcards the little quizzes that i've been doing literally i've been having quizlet since i was in high school rocking with it and i'm in my senior year of college rocking with it still so my homework it's actually helped me a lot so i've been listing like assignments projects anything tests when i when i like last semester in the spring and it actually helped me like limit down like all of the like craziness because i'll be thinking okay i have this 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 and it's like when you list it out and you literally take a look and it's in front of your face all the assignments you're like oh that's what i have to do for the week all right let's do that or this is what i have to do next week okay cool let's start on one let's start on this you know zoom we all know what zoom is about um so for clothes i have not <laughs> um okay Jeez. so for clothes i have ptl pretty little things plt pretty little things um depop sheen and yes i say sheen not sheen or shine girl by sheen um i haven't even looked in the app i just downloaded it because everybody was telling me like oh yeah it's good it's good it's good blah 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 so good quality clothes for good prices. I was like, good, good, cool. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, Fashion Nova, Depop. I have a whole account on Depop. Have a store and everything. Have not sold or put up anything on my website whatsoever. I feel like people won't get anything from me. That's why I feel so held back. And plus, I don't know how the packaging will go. The delivery is gonna go. And, blah, 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 blah. and I don't want them to. Yeah, I have a lot of anxiety when it comes to selling clothes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so lifestyle. So we have Amazon, which is basically, you know, ship, um, shipping, delivering stuff. Uh, my chart, which is basically like all of my documents when it comes to my health. Apartments, Zillow, rentals, Easy Street, and Airbnb. This is where you can basically see all the rent, like all the rental properties, everything that's going up for sale and stuff like that. When it comes to like see pricings for rent in your city or in your state um cars.com is a basically like where you would like view cars and like pre-owned cars um certified cars all that jazz and prices game time let me show y'all game time let me show y'all game time so game time is usually where i go to get concert tickets I have not bought any concert tickets from game time but i always know the dates i always know the exact like lower prices i always get to like see the availability since i live in new york city i go to new york city and basically there's a whole bunch of like concerts you can search up your favorite artist which is what i did when it came to slum okay uh when it comes to my work this is like this is humanity where I get like my job schedule, paychecks, where I get my pay stubs. Outlook is where I check for all of my work emails, all of my uh, school emails. Indeed jobs. Yeah, now yes, I do have a job. I do have a job. There's a reason why it's not offline. Think of it that way. Um, simulation games. I do not go on Monopoly Go will never see me again. Um, Among Us, I don't play mobile Among Us anymore. I play on my PlayStation. So that's why it's just offline right now. For music, y'all know I listen to a whole bunch of music. But, um, well, if you know, you know. If you know, you know I listen to a lot of music. But I have um, SoundCloud. That's mainly for um, DJs that I like to listen to. Um, I usually get uh, some of my DJs from TikTok um but i also know personal djs so i listen to their mixes and stuff like that spotify self-explanatory apple music i look i actually have an apple music subscription of 5.99 because i'm a student so it's like you know um songster and guitar tuna okay so 
but you ain't see that one coming okay these two apps include my guitar so i have um songster is for like a whole bunch of songs that you can get tabs on um these are some of the songs that i've been kind of listening to well trying to play honestly um kiss it better all that and it gives you all of the guitar tabs or how to play the guitar like how to play the song on the guitar and then guitar tuna is basically it's an app to help you tune your guitar then i have settings and i have google i don't really know why i have google on here but whatever and then at the bottom 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 we have my call app my phone app safari and the apple store this widget is my my music app i was actually just listening to my music station uh like basically songs that they have for me and only me um calendar i like to have a big like the big widget for that um and batteries i usually have my beats um any other bluetooth device and my phone so yeah um rocksmith tuner is basically an app where it's actually on my console so on your playstation you can connect your phone to play guitar through the game which 100 percent recommend <laughs> like i love it and guitar and forever 21 is obviously another photo app i mean what another clothing app um, I just recently re-downloaded it because I plan on going to Forever 21 soon, so yeah. And then Warzone Meta is basically <laughs> an app that I recently, recently just got onto where you see a whole bunch of Warzone and MW Outlook, I mean, loadouts for each individual gun. And they basically tell you like what you would like. What attachments would you use with this gun to make it more better and more efficient? So I've been, you know, I've been playing Warzone for quite some time. Starting to just get back to, I've been playing COD for some long time. I'm recently getting into Warzone. So that's, I'm taking my stuff to the next level, I guess. Let's go to the control center. This is what I have for my control center. Um, I always have my phone on the lock thing. This never changes. Never changes because I just don't like it. I 100% just don't like it. When you do this and it's switching, no, that's irritating to me. And I am a D&D &D queen. I love my personal. Love my personal. I don't want 100% sit here and be like, oh, D&D &D, or just have my phone on D&D &D every time and ask for nobody to like go through my dnd because that's insane but 100 percent when i don't feel like being bothered i'm putting on a dnd when i actually have this automated every single day from seven to five for nobody like for me not to see any texts for me not to see for me not to see um any texts for me not to see any kind of call unless you're double calling me because I had because I actually started the semester knowing that after a certain point when I get home from work once it hits seven o'clock from seven to nine I'm doing schoolwork I'm studying I'm doing something productive and that's my time away from my phone so from seven to nine is why it automatically comes on so yeah and half of the time it's either automatically on or I just don't want to be, I just don't want to be bothered and I'll put it on myself. Ooh. Oh well. But right now I'm fine. But yeah, that's, that's what's on my iPhone. So turns out I have like a midnight blue when I asked for black. But it's whatever. Alright guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure you guys follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and even subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of me. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.